You're watching WMAR 2 News. Across the state, the rate of coronavirus tests coming back positive continues to drop. I'm Christian Schaefer with your afternoon headlines. It's at 4.17 this morning, and now COVID-19 restrictions are being modified in Baltimore City. Effective Monday at 6 in the morning, the 10-person limit for indoor gatherings and the 25-person limit for outdoor gatherings will be lifted. Mayor Brandon Scott made that announcement in a news conference in Baltimore this morning and that one hour time limit for you to be inside restaurants. That's also going away. Indoor dining will though remain at 25% capacity. Outdoor still at 50% and outdoor dining has to be open on all sides. The capacity for fitness classes will also be increased 25% or a total of 10 people and live performances will once again be allowed, but only with masks on and social distancing in place to read more about the city restrictions being relaxed next week. Head to WMAR2news.com. And now from WMAR2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Wednesday, everyone. We have a mixture of sunshine and clouds in store for today, and temperatures are going to be about 10 degrees below average. We're really going to struggle to make it back up into the mid-30s this afternoon. Uh, so, yeah, we have colder temperatures on the horizon over the next few days, and we also are tracking that wintry mix that's set to arrive as we head overnight into your Thursday. Winter storm warnings will go into effect early tomorrow morning after midnight through 6 o'clock Friday for the majority of our viewing areas. So that's mainly for areas north and west of the Baltimore metro as that's where we could see the heavier snow set up. And it's going to rapidly accumulate as we head throughout the morning hours as it looks like a heavier band looks to move through our northwestern suburbs. So anywhere from five to eight inches, not out of the question for parts of Carroll County, Frederick, even northern parts of Baltimore County up by Parkton. Two to five inches around the city, down towards Columbia and even up by Bel Air and a trace to one inch down towards the southern parts of the eastern shore, even around Annapolis. And we'll say goodbye to that wintry precipitation as we head into early Friday. Cold and breezy conditions will persist into the weekend and temperatures will gradually warm up as we head into early next week. Okay, yeah, Stevie, we're going to have to keep an eye on that forecast. Thanks very much and stay with us online. It's there at WMAR2news.com. All day long, four updates on top stories and breaking news. And for news and weather on the go, download the WMAR2 News app or follow us on social media at WMAR2 News. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.